Good morning, guys. I just want to take a second and give you a tool that you could use to help dive into God's Word a little bit deeper and to study His Word in a way that may be a little bit different um, than what you've done before. It's a method called the HEAR method of studying. Um, it's, it's as simple as uh, following the letters in the word HEAR, H-E-A-R. And the H stands for highlight. The, the first thing that I do in this method is I go to my Bible, I find the scripture um, that I've been challenged to either memorize or to study, and I highlight that scripture, usually one to three verses. And I highlight that scripture, and then even more so, I go back and I underline things within that scripture that I've highlighted that really stick out to me. And then we move to the E, which is explain it in your own words. So maybe take a journal or a book or a composition book or something and write out the scripture that you've been challenged to memorize or to study. And once you write out the scripture, then explain it in your own words to what you think it means and what you, what you know it to mean. And then the A is application. In this day and time, how does it apply to your life? What is God speaking to you through his word about how you should apply what you're learning? And then the R is a response. Write out a response. Whether it's a response of prayer or action or both prayerfully, that you would respond to the passage and how you would act to, that, to apply it in your lives. Guys, this is a great tool to use to help learn and to, to grow in God's Word. I pray that you would consider using it and that you would um, that you would try real hard to memorize scripture. The scripture that I'm working through this week is Romans 8, 38 and 39. So that's my challenge to you this week, that you would look up Romans 8, 38 and 39 and that you would use the HEAR method. Highlight, explain, application, and respond um, to Romans 8, 38 and 39. Try that this week and see how God speaks to you. Have a great week.